Hey everybody. Tonight we're going to do a comparison between the Cloud Defensive Rain 3.0 full size and micro. And as typical, I'm starting off with a Streamlight HLX. This is a thousand lumen, just under 28,000 candela handheld light. And you can see um, we're at our 100 yard range with our two thirds white painted Ipsic steel downrange separated uh, three meters between each target and I want to show you the difference between the rain 3.0 and 3.0 full size um, I'm running the Vapcell M11 V2 battery in our micro dual fuel and I'm running the Molicell P30B in our full size 18350 cloud defensive rain these are the two best testing high drain batteries on the market and their sizes respectively. So with that out of the way, I'm going to click them both on. They were just charged to 4.2 volts and we will uh, see what, if any differences they have between them as far as performance. So, The micro that's the full size the full size has been on our left and the micro I'm sorry the full size has been on our right and the micro has been on our left and as you can see they are nearly identical that's the micro shining down range that's the full size down range See, the full size appears to have maintained a little bit more punch for a little longer. When they first turned on, I couldn't tell them apart, but the full size seems to be uh, carrying a little bit more punch for a little bit longer. That's our micro. That's our full size. You can see that the micro has definitely stepped down significantly. Our full size has not. So... That's a pretty big difference. A lot of people are frustrated by that. They say, I don't want to be out there with the micro and have it step down and be a problem. And granted, it, uh, it's not ideal, but check this out. Right back to full power. All you got to do is give it a double click. Turn it off, turn it back on. You know, as the old saying goes, we try turning it off and turning it back on. That definitely works with the Cloud Defensive Micro uh, regarding the step-down output and restoring full output. As you can see, we're still plugging right along. Not quite as much juice as the full power, but not bad. Um, it is my theory, based on IR temp measure that I've taken of these two heads, that this is not a thermal regulation but rather Cloud Defense's attempt at giving you decent runtime off the micro. Um, again, double click and restore. And our full size has just been on the whole time, just plugging along. Like I say, I don't think this is a thermal regulation aspect. I think it is a runtime aspect. As you can see, the heads are identical in construction. But I do believe that uh, Cloud Defensive Program, the micro, to step down quicker so as to preserve battery life. But like I show, you can immediately restore that output. And our full size is starting to step down a little bit. I think that's thermal regulation stepping in. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, I, yeah, there's our micro. Here's our full size. It's definitely starting to step down. So that's an interesting uh, caveat there. And these lights are very warm. Uh, Cloud Defensive did a little video a while back of them, you know, uh, <laughs> um, holding the lights over a campfire setting or whatever you want to call it and made a little parody about that and it's definitely accurate these cloud defensive lights are putting out a lot of lumens 
and they get hot. I'm holding the full size uh, rain output module and it is warm. I kind of want to juggle it. I don't really want to sit there and hold it. Um, what I'm doing now is switching CR123 batteries into these lights. Now the micro uh, light module is not quite as warm. Like I say, I think they stepped it down to preserve output rather than a thermal regulation because there's no reason that the micro can't take as much heat as the full size um, as far as the head modules. And I want to say in the past I've measured the micro at around 125 degrees and the full size at close to 150. So we know they're both capable of quote unquote taking the heat. Anyway, these are how these dual fuel lights perform with CR123s. Again, the micro on the left, full size on the right. That's our micro, that's our full size. Not a lot of difference downrange there between the two. That's the full size, that's the micro. I can see a little bit of difference. Um, There is a little bit of difference, but functionally speaking, I think you're getting very similar performance between the two on their backup fuel, which is kind of neat. That's kind of a neat trick. Um, full size micro, full size micro. And I haven't detected any kind of step down between these two lights, um, either of them on their dual fuel diet. This is the micro shining down range. This is the full size. Like I say, with the CR123, I am not detecting a step down in these, even after significant runtime. Again, this is the micro, and this is the full size. Micro on the left, full size on the right. It's more or less a wash. Um, I don't think that you'll see something with a full size that you'll miss with the micro uh, when using the CR123 backup option. Anyway, I hope this comparison has been helpful to you. And like I say, they're so close in weight that the main reason I would choose the micro over the full size is if I had uh, a configuration where the micro just made more sense. Uh, PDWs, SBRs, that sort of thing. Um, otherwise, I, I would stick with the full size, just my opinion, but the micro is extremely uh, handy as far as the size goes. I'm comparing the CR123 dual fuel option here. Again, micro on the left, full size on the right. There's just not a lot of difference here in the dual fuel setting. The main difference, as I've noted, is output length at full with their primary fuel source. And in the comments, or rather the video description, I'm going to measure the remaining voltage in the Molly cell and the VAP cell, and we'll see which light drained which battery by which amount. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this has been educational and useful to you. Go out there and be safe.